I don't think mask in itself masculine is toxic. I think, you know, I, I, that's why I use that phrase mandates of masculine. I think the expectations are the, the part of the problem. And yeah, clearly the acts that we see from some men are the, are the problem. Do we have a, a crisis in masculinity? I think it's, I think, I think we have men who are, who are deeply confused and grappling with what they're seeing. For me, that's the crisis. That's the bit where we, how do we help men overcome these, this confusion, the, the tra- I think the trauma that men are feeling, you know, men are deeply uncomfortable with what they're seeing in the happening to the friends. That's, that's, that's bringing in moral injury, moral trauma, because they're not doing anything about it. And I think for me, we can over- help them overcome that by giving them the tools, giving them the skills to be able to, to address these issues, to repair that trauma, to make them feel that they can do things. So, you know, I, I don't like when people say there's a war on men. I, I don't think there's a war on men. You know, I think that's just too easy. That's 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 the men's rights groups just not confronting the issues that are at play. Um, but you know, I think we do need to help our boys and men better. We need to make it better for our boys and men, not not just for them, but for everybody in society as well. Because that, if we make it for if we make it better for boys and men, we can make it better for everybody in some respects. You know, and you know, in society, so that's that's my tuppence worth there. More than tuppence, I think, but. Uh, <laughs> Um, what grounds left? I think we covered toxic masculinity before, uh, and I agree with what um, Graham said. You know, analytically, I can see the purpose in trying to address how there's these ideas that then lead to harm in all sorts of different parts of people's lives. But as a tool to bring people on board, um, we found that it, it alienates more people um, and has already, you know, sadly already been captured by, uh, well, by men's rights um, groups or people who are kind of anti-feminist as like, aha, see, this is what it is. Yeah. You know, this concept means that they're saying that all men as humans are bad rather than saying, oh, no, 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 which I would point out. What that term means is there's, there's these ideas, there's these gender norms, there's these mandates there's these man boxes that people are getting put into that are really harmful for them and really harmful for society. And, you know, we see that happening in lots of ways. And I think for me, one of the big things that we emphasize is that masculinity is definitionally what we imagine men as being and how they're behaving. And that changes and it's different in different communities. And it's extremely varied in the UK alone, let alone if you go around the world. There never, there never was a traditional masculinity. Um, that's, that's a myth that never, never existed as a solid thing that was somehow like homogenous in any society, let alone more broadly than that. And any times there have been moves to crystallize something and make it very clear, basically all it does is hurt and harms and causes um, all sorts of damage psychologically to people who don't fit into those those things that have been arbitrarily plucked out of the air. Um, so my my kind of way to navigate all of this is be like, there's this plurality there, and there's also a capacity for you to actually take ownership of that, and for us to take ownership of that. So let's. You don't need to be ashamed of your interests. That's not that's not what we're going to. You know, that's not the direction. It's we can embrace those, but just really actually be accountable for it. You know, lean into some of those words like responsibility, but do it in ways that are empathetic. Do it in ways that, that care about how you're impacting upon the people around you. Um, and I think that's a wonderful place to be really positive um, and to be really caring about each other as men. Um, and also about all the people around us, regardless of their gender. Yeah, totally agree. 